Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of Shadow Toys Photography. Today we're going to be taking a different look at the Mezco San Diego Comic Con exclusive Commissioner Gordon. But first, I forgot to co cover a couple things in my last uh, Street Gomez video, which I'm going to cover right now. Uh, first off, I tried to put on both jackets at the same time, and I was able to do it, but the arms got a little stiff where I couldn't quite articulate the uh, elbow joint there and put his arm, uh, keep it up. It kind of kept uh, falling down, kind of like uh, little Ralphie's brother from A Christmas Story when his mom over uh, wraps him with jackets and sweaters. I don't know if I remember, anybody remembers that, but yeah. Anyway, that was a problem um, I was having, so unfortunately that didn't work. And next, I uh, forgot to mention that he also comes with the red uh, scarf that the uh, Wolverine Ronin 5 from uh, New York Comic Con, I believe last year, comes with because I wrapped it around Electra, a little makeshift Electra I got going here. I know it's uh, pretty uh, pretty bad. She's held together with uh, scraps of uh, cloth and rubber bands and stuff like that. But I use the uh, the sash there just to kind of get an idea of uh, to do something with her. So yeah, I'm no uh, no professional by any means, but uh, just something I was messing around with. Didn't know if I uh, wanted her like this, kind of full covered ninja or head shoulders out like that I don't know it's kind of uh, more her maybe we'll take the neck scarf off or something I don't know let me know what you think but anyways uh, moving on lastly uh, the backpack you can indeed because I did accidentally pop the uh, <laughs> the cover for the uh, pouch here and it does fit stuff and inside of mine I have the little silencer I was talking about and I can uh, pop right back in there. Inside here, I have the grenades. So yeah, anyway, that's that. Moving on. Next, uh, we'll get to what you uh, wanted to see in a minute. First, as you know, when you uh, order an exclusive, you get the, uh, the stickers, which I wish I had a real boom box to stick all these on because I'm collecting quite a few. And of course, the pamphlets. This guy, uh, anyways, um, as you can see here, I got the bat signal that uh, I'm gonna cover last just because uh, I have something cool I wanna show you that I uh, did with one of the uh, diorama pieces so that I'm f really happy we finally got. So I'm really excited about that. And of course, I got another matte black shadow mezzet, which I'm not mad about because as you can see, I kinda got a little shadow ninja army going there so anyways let's get to the man himself the commish if you're not aware what the uh, commish is michael chiklis played uh the commish in a show long ago i believe in the 90s he was also on if you don't know who michael chiklis is he, he was on a show called the shield in the early uh, 2000s on fx but anyways <laughs> moving on this is uh this is the man himself. He's got the same uh, same body as the uh, the Joker that was just released, and the uh, exclusive Gen Vigilante Daredevil that I uh, I covered in my previous video. You could check that out. It's pretty much the same articulation. So to save time, check that out for that. But it's it's the same exact body, same exact body, which is pretty good. Not complaining. His shirt looks like it can pull out, but it's sewn kind of farther down in the pants to kind of give you that, you know, tucked in, rough tucked in uh, effect. So when you uh, articulate them there, move them around, it doesn't uh, pull the shirt out completely. So I'm fine with that. If you customizers out there want to mess around with that, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you could take uh, all the stuff off fairly easy and tie. I know it's a bungee clip on, which is kind of funny, but I understand it takes a long time to tie a real tie, and he's Commissioner Gordon. He doesn't have time for all that. <laughs> Let's move on to the uh, accessories. 
his uh, Colombo trench coat. See there, not bad, not bad at all. Next, if you have the Punisher, put the Punisher coat on him. A little more bulky in the shoulders there, but kind of get the idea. Next, uh, let's go with weapons here. Yeah. This is his normal handgun that he comes with. Clip does not come out, but the back does uh, pop back there, which is very nice. And I put this other hand on there so he can do wield. Now this is the uh, the Glock handgun from uh, Deathstroke, all Mezco, going full Max Payne, very cool, very cool. Next up he's got the Punisher handgun. I know the bottom looks funny because I had to shove the clip in there backwards because it kept popping out on me. Next, another Punisher handgun. It's uh, going full dirty, Harry. There, <laughs> it's pretty good though. I like how he can hold a whole bunch of guns. Let's see what do we got? The uh, Punisher Assault Rifle. Give me a quick pose out now of the clip. You can actually help Batman out. Very nice. This is just great. Everything just works perfectly with him. Lastly, shotgun in his hands. Oh yeah, like from the Dark Knight when he uh, they catch the Joker midway there. Gordon ain't messing around anymore. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Excellent job, Mezco. As always. Do we even have to doubt at this point? It's just awesome stuff. Alright, let's pop him back there. Let's do some comparisons to uh, other characters from uh, DC. Not, uh, we're going to do not only Mezco, but uh, we'll do other brands. Let's pop around here. It's first, well, first, we'll do the Mezco Batman. My favorite Batman from Mezco. Personal favorite. From Batman vs. Superman. Of course, perfect fit. Let's see. Next, ooh, let's do the NECA T-1000 Police Officers. And get them to stand on camera here. There we go. Not bad. They're uh, putting close up to them. They're, uh, yeah, they're huge. <laughs> but in the background, perfect, works perfect. Definitely big there, but yeah, not bad at all. Now Gordon's got some backup. Let's move on. Uh, 
Got Ra's al Ghul from Mafex. Liam Neeson there. Uh, close. Very close. Not bad. Let's see if he'll pop back there with his ninja buddies. Eh, Alright. Let's do, uh, let's move on with more Mafex. Got Two Face, Harvey Dent. Nah, yeah, that doesn't work. The very, very little man. Get out of here. Next. Uh, oh, I know this isn't going to work either. Bane. <laughs> Still Mafex. And that's pretty comical. I know, I know Storm Collectibles are going to be uh, coming out with a, uh, I think, a video game version of Bane. Which I'm sure will be huge. And we'll scale a little better with uh, Gordon here. Because this is, uh, yeah, not intimidating at all. You get out of here, too. Let's move on to, you know, let's do Mattel. Gotham City Thug. A little short. Nah, very short. But, you know what? It's okay, because thugs uh, can be all shapes and sizes. Let's do, ooh, you know what? Another Mafex. Joker, bank robber, short as well, but again, doable. Do a Mattel uh, Lex Luthor. Now you know what? Surprisingly, we think that works. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Here is uh, the Arkham Knight, who is also huge, but I think given the character, it works. Definitely more intimidating than uh, Bane, that's for sure. Uh, two more. The Joker, and a little head swap, which I'm about to do more in a second course. Mezco on Mezco always uh, works out for everybody. Another uh, comparison there. Very nice. So they, uh, you know what? A couple more. Electra. Scrappy Electra. And uh, let's get the thug, the street Gomez, back in here. Oh yeah, excellent. And while we're at it, a little undercover. Narc Gordon. Yeah. Love how everything's so interchangeable. Like it's customizing, so simple. You don't have to be an expert at it. Everything just flows great. Very nice. <coughs> Next, let's uh, let's do some head swaps. Let's swap them out with uh, a recently released Joker. Yeah, that's um, that's scary good. <laughs> kind of. 9 to 5 Joker, everyday working man Joker, you know, nothing fancy about him. Excuse me. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> let's try another one. Uh, let's get back to this one. Yeah, a little short in the neck there, but yeah, works. The hair and the shirt match. Very nice. And finally, the Fountain of Youth. Rewind time. Young Gordon. That's, that is unexpected and so awesome that they gave us two heads like that. Beautiful. Is any, if anyone's thought of any other uh, head swaps that uh, I haven't or any good ones, please don't hesitate to let me know. 
just clear uh, clear them out here. Keep Gordon uh, in the back here. I know I was in uh, first getting uh, this Gordon, this exclusive, but uh, still uh, still thankful for that. I could be uh, one of the first to uh, thankful to show uh, show these uh, great figures off to everybody as quickly as possible. Also, uh, be sure to check out Mezco Toys with a Z.com and their Instagram. And also check out my Instagram at uh, Shadow Toy Photography. And also sh at uh, Shadow Toys, both on Instagram. And uh, again, always, as always, thank you uh, everyone that uh, subscribes um, uh, and follows. I'm truly, truly thankful for that. You have, uh, you have no idea. And uh, whoops, real quick be, uh, before we go here. Forgot about the uh, the bat signal. Real quick. It's excellent. It's so excellent. Wow. He gave us a signal. That's with all the lights on. Let's uh, shut a light off. Light a uh, light off real quick. Beautiful. And uh, before we go, as promised, as you kind of noticed here, the uh, the floor is a little big because I made uh, duplicate copies of the uh, of the floor here. Let me know which one uh, blues clues you real quick. Let me know uh, which one is uh, the real one. It's actually this one, and. Uh, Hope Mezco doesn't get mad, but I made uh, color copies of the other ones, and I think it matches, uh, not exactly, but they flow together. So yeah, give it a shot. You have a color copier, make yourself some extra floor. Alright everybody, thanks for watching.